Hello class, I'm gonna be doing a science experiment with you guys today. The supplies you're gonna need are some seeds, any types of seeds that you could find in your house. Uh, I'm gonna be using some lima bean seeds and some popcorn seeds. If your parents have some garden seeds that you could use, that would work too. Okay, you're also gonna need a Ziploc bag paper towel, and some water. I've just got a little squirt bottle here, just for the sake of my video, but you could use water from your sink as well. Okay, our first step is to soak our seeds overnight for 24 hours. So I've already done that, and so I'm moving on to the next step. You are going to then Get your paper towel wet. And then place your seeds on top of the paper towel. It's important to notice the way that you're placing your seeds. I'm gonna place one facing up. I can tell that that is the top of the seed. And then I'm gonna pl place one facing the other way, facing down. One is facing down, one is facing up. I'm going to do the same thing now with the popcorn seeds. That one's going to face up and that one is going to face down. Okay, once you have that done, you're going to slide your paper towel into your Ziploc bag so that it looks just like this. You're gonna press all of the air out of the bag so that the seeds can stay right in place so they won't move. Okay, that is how it will look. Okay, you're gonna take this bag and place it somewhere safe in your house where nothing will move it and that those seeds are going to stay safe for the next five days. Our next step is to draw our experiment. So you're going to draw the Ziploc bag. Make sure you're adding your labels. Ziploc bag. Then here you have your paper towel. <coughs> and then you have a picture of your beans. One's facing up and one's facing down. And I wrote in labels of the types of seeds that I am using. Okay, our next step is to wait and make observations to see what's going to happen on day one, day two, day three, day four, and day five. So I'm going to be uploading an observation sheet that you can use as your observation journal. But if you don't have a printer or just want to make your own, you can draw your own observation journal just like this with a column for which day it is and then some spaces for your observations. Okay, I'm excited to see what's going to happen.